hi guys how you doing <sighs> you see i'm not just saying it with it as much enthusiasm because i literally just finished watching episode 23 i'm so sorry but let me give you the accolades that you deserve hi sexy slayers how are you doing my sexy but not in the objectified way let me tell you what it let me break it down to you s is for sharp s is for successful s is for smart S is for spectacular. E is for excellent. E is for everlasting. E is for exquisite. See, I spread it out and stretched out the E today. It's not just excellent because the X in the sexy, we've remixed it to be our own. And it means your X. Excellent and excelling with just an X to start with. Forget about the E. Okay. And then it's you that I'm talking to. You, you peoples. That all those things that you are. Okay. So how are you guys doing, guys? How you been slaying? Everywhere you walk, you're just flying left, right, and centre. You just walk like this and you're slaying. Even when you don't think you're slaying, you're slaying. Even when you think things are going in the wrong way, it's slaying to be preparing you for another place to be slaying. You know what I'm saying? How have you been slaying? Slaying in your house, slaying in your family, slaying in relationships, slaying in your college, slaying in your university, slaying in your school, slaying in your business, slaying in your empire, slaying in your conglomerates. How have you been slaying? You just tell me. You just tell me in the comments how you've been slaying today. But guys, I'm here for episode 24 of Married at First Sight. Dan, I'm done back to do the maths, guys. And yeah, it is two o'clock exactly on the dot. Really? Is it on the dot? No, 1.53, 1.53. My clock's a bit fast. No. So guys, I'm gonna go. See you later. See you, yeah, see you in part one. I just hope there's not that much drama or else I'm just gonna just I'm gonna have to give up on this episode, on this show, and then go to another more realistically planned reality thing that I can do my sexology and sprinkle some psychosexology into this because all this is long. I don't need all this in my life. I really don't. But I'll see you guys in part one, okay? Alright, bye. Right, guys, so part one of episode 24 down. I haven't even written that much. Oh, but I'm happy. Brett and Brookard. Oh, Brett stayed the night. I'm so happy about that. And she sees less of him. She likes her more. That's Booker's definition of the love that she has for Brett. And so did Alana and Jason. And they were physically intimate, as it was put. And Jason and Alana, like I said, they seem to get on well. They seem to, you know, put their past behind them. And it looks like they're going well. They're going home and Brett and Melissa decided to go home a different way. Because they're the actors in the group, so they get special treatment, basically. I don't know. Who knows? There's more actors, though, because it's just, just all long. Just all these drummers bits, I just don't need it. But part one down, see you in part two, guys. All right, bye. Comment, like, share, subscribe. I don't say that enough. I don't say that enough. Comment, like, share, and subscribe, okay? Good. Guys... It was just about the dramas that is going to take place <clears throat> at the dinner party. Everybody still wants... This is like Project Get Bright to Apologise Part 17. And all they're doing is talking about it. He better apologise. He better apologise. He better apologise. Just all in their different ways of communication. I'm just bored of it, guys. Just... Why is all the drama around these two people? Not these two people, but this one person. Why? I didn't even write nothing down, let me not lie to you. I was doing other things, I'm not going to lie to you. I was giving myself a little bit of self-care by analysing a few things. Yeah. So that's what I was doing. So yeah, that is it guys. Scene part two, three. Part three, yeah, yeah. Alright, see so ya. Yeah. Oh, no. Sorry, hey my sexy slaves, how you doing? Part three down, it was the dinner date. Belinda came in some acrobatic chic, looking like a, a mixture of an acrobatic chicess 
and a 70s disco queen. You know, that gorgeous hair. Yeah, she looked good in her own style. You know, she's grown into her own self. She got naked in front of Pat. She just thought, you know what, he's watching TV. Let me just spruce up his evening or whatever time it was. Or his afternoon. Let me just go get my clothes off. I go and stand there like that. And see what happens for me. You know, that's what she thought. So that's what she did. And yeah, the sparks were all over the place. Their bodies were intertwining, you know? And apparently Pat liked it. Pat liked that she was taking charge. She liked that. It's not all the time that the man has to be taking the lead, you know? So he liked it. He liked it. So let's see how that goes. Um, and she was so proud to tell Alana. Was like Alana was the queen of sex before she met Belle because she even said that one that you said that you just done. Even me, being the expert, the one that enjoys the love makings, I ain't even tried that. You know. So she was even giving her lessons as well. You know, you can sometimes you can share on them, but you don't go into detail. detail. It's a bit, oh, well, it's up to you guys. It depends on the relationship. Let me not say that there's only one way of talking about your sex life. It's up to you guys, isn't it? But anywho, um, Patrick seems to try to seems to be trying to rally up everybody against Bryce for when he comes and. Jason ain't having it. He's protecting Bryce and saying he'll still say hi to him while Pat is trying to get him on his side and to be rude and shady to him and not shake his hand all them mountain things. And why am I even narrating this to you guys? And I've narrated for a long time. What have I been doing? Have I been talking a lot? Guys, let me go because that's all there's to report. Pat, this is getting a bit... I need some, some real core of the core love sexual things. You know, so that I can... This is that cycle sex now. See, I I didn't say the words, but you heard it. That psychosexuality. Anyway, it's back, guys. See, I'm, I'm just don't know what I'm talking about today. Anyway, I'll be back. I'll be back. Gosh, I didn't even realize it's gone, you know. Yeah, I've been sleeping. <coughs> anyway, part four down. And Jake and Bex came in not holding hands. Um, you know, Jake is telling the guys she, he needs affection, so I'll well, go on what's going on with the affection. But Bex is just on another flex. That's what I was on that. Johnny and Kerry looked really nice and cosy and comfortable together. Brett and Booker, it just seems like they're learning how to resolve issues and they're enjoying themselves again how they were before. That's lovely. It's good to see. I'm happy that you're back. I am happy. Um, Mel and Bryce came in and only two people came to say hello to them. But the good thing is, seeing as Jason spoke on a level to him. I'm not going to tell him because it's all the dramatisation, but I like the approach of how he spoke to him. He spoke to him on a level. Listen, I'm your brother, yeah? But i got to tell you when you messed up, if that's what you supposedly did. Meanwhile, I know that you got paid to do all of these dramas. I know you got paid. But... Yeah, I'm going to say with my chest, guys. I'm going to say it with my chest. It's, there's certain bits of it that it's not, you know, it's, it's been thought of in someone's brain. And that's what we're watching. No. Sorry. So, yeah, there's that. So, that's it. Part uh, five coming up. See you soon. Okay, bye. Comment, like, share, subscribe. All right, okay. Take care. All right, guys. All right, all right, darlings. All right, darlings. All right, sexy slayers. All right, all right. I'm not even special, mate. I'm just talking to you. If people want to say... Something. Oh, I thought I'd be sleepy, that's why I was... The way you've acted, Bryce, the whole experiment, you can't tell anyone here that they're getting too aggressive. Hey, I'll, I'll <sighs> this is getting a little bit Sunset Beaches, because I just don't feel this, but no, I just feel like they're just fattening up the storyline. Oh. If it was inappropriate, he would have been out of there immediately. Production would have halted. Everybody will be standing around, acting like themselves, waiting for them to tell him to get out. And then when they say actually get again, then they act like they're acting. You know? So it's not real. It's not real. No. Seeing the break. When you look in here, my, my explanation in the break is going to be very brief, very brief. See you guys. Comment, like, share, subscribe. Don't forget about our Okay. But he's just, he's just going to keep going. 
Lisa, can I just say, Ross is lucky to have you. You are a beautiful person, and the way you've stuck by him is admirable. I mean, look, you can say anything about Melissa, but she is loyal. She's like a good prison wife, you know, sticks by him no matter what. Like, for us to murder someone. Ladies and gentlemen. True enough, yeah, I fell asleep in my life. It's about quarter to, no, it's half four. I've woken up and I, all I've heard is that they're at the commitment ceremony. And all Johnny Boy has said is Brett and Booker, we wish you luck. See you later. I can't believe I've missed all of that. I just can't bother to go back. <coughs> Let me just leave it there for today's thingy that they've gone and that made me very upset to hear that i can't remember i can't bribe pack um bribe exception yeah uh yeah it is where it's like guys it looks like it's the next episode and then but i'm not watching it so guys you know where to find me at sex and slay with azamar anyway is on ig is on tiktok as well you can find me those two places and it's spelled s-e-c-k-s-n-s-l-a-y W I T H A S A M I M U A. That's me as a my M U A. Okay. Then on Facebook and on TikToks is as a my M U A Beauty, and then Twitter is as a my M U A. Is as a my M U A. Guys, I'm gonna love you, leave you, bid you farewell, and tell you it was great again. I'm so sorry I fell asleep, but it is what it is. Okay, it is what it is. I don't know what happened in between all of that. I don't know what part I got to. I think I got to part five, innit? So, yeah, it's alright. I hope it is episode... I love if I've skipped one, in it. Have I skipped one and gone on to episode 25? Hold on. Guys, I'm going to love you and leave you. I tried. But I'm sad that Brent and Booker's going... Because I thought they were getting on well. So... Alright, guys. Love you and leave you. Take care. Stay blessed. Bye.